Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, this is the 14th video in my Python programming series, and we are going to be talking about writing to a file. So in the last video, we talked about reading from a file, and now we are going to be writing to it. So the first thing we need to do is create a file. So we already have a file created here called file.txt. I did that in the last video. And inside, we have nothing. So I'm just going to put the word hello in here so that we can test something out later. Okay, now it is again important that you have this file in the same directory as your script. So tutorial 14, which is the script I'm using right now, uh, is in the same directory. That's important, otherwise Python will not be able to read that file properly. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing we did in the last video. We're going to do file is equal to open the file name. So in this case, file.txt. Oops, that has to be the lowercase, my bad file.txt and the mode. So in the last one we used R, but in this case we're going to use W and that stands for write. Now there's one thing we need to do which I forgot to do in the last video and that is close the file. So we do need to actually close the file so that it saves our changes, which I forgot to do in the last video and it's very important that we do that. So my apologies, but here we go. file.close. And again, if we had changed this name to anything else, then we would do that name.close because the file is contained in the variable file like that. Okay, so now we want to write to the file. So all we have to do is type the variable name, so file, and then dot write, which is very simple. And inside here, I'll put a new word. I'm going to put Python like that. Now, before we run it, let's notice what is inside of our file dot text. So in here, we have the word hello. Now I'm going to run the script. And nothing happens here, obviously, because we just wrote to the file. But when we open the file again, you see now it says Python. Now, what actually happened was we removed the word that was in there before, so hello, and we overwrote it with Python. So what happens in this mode here, W, is it actually clears the entire, entire file, and then it writes what you want to write to it. So if you have this W here, it is going to clear the entire file. Now there's a way to get around this, but I'm not going to be showing that in this video today. Okay, so let's write something else to our file. So file.write, and then I am learning how to write to a file, just like that. And again, we'll run the script, and we'll open the text file. And you see we get everything here on the same line. So that's okay, um, but you may want this to be on different lines. So how would we do that? Well, if you remember from the last video, there was something called an escape character that we got when we read in the file. We had that little backslash n attached. Now that's the same thing we need to do when we're re writing to the file if we want things to go on a different line. So on this line here, I'm going to type the backslash and then the n. Uh, and now what's going to happen is it's going to have this escape character, which is going to tell Python we need to move to the next line. And then it is going to type this right here. So we can show what's going to happen here. We go F5. And then if we open up the file once again, you see Python, and then I am learning how to write to a file. So that happened again because we use that backslash n, the escape character. Now, same thing, we could use this in between uh, a line. So if we want to write a large thing and we want it on different lines, then we can put the escape character in there like that. Same thing, open the file again and we'll see what happens. And we see we get it on a different line. So that's how you can write things to a different line. Uh, now, this has been a pretty short video today, but that's really all it is uh, to writing something to a to a file in Python. Now in the next video I'm going to show how we can write and read to a file at the same time so that would involve not wiping the entire file when we open it but if you learned something today please like and subscribe and I will see you again in another video.